everyone, I am SimSweetie and welcome to this video that is very different from the kinds of videos I normally do. Um, I've been pretty obsessed with comics and graphic novels lately and I just got a bunch of new ones and I thought I'd haul them, so stay tuned if you're interested in that sort of thing. And also I'm filming on a fisheye lens and I feel like it's wide angle and I just have so much room in this frame. Look at all this space. First one I'm going to show you guys is Giant Days, which I read this this morning and I enjoy it so much. Funny story is the guy in the comic book store said that this was issues one through five and not one through four. I also got issue six because I was like, if this is one through five, then six is perfect. I found issues seven, eight, and nine. So I'm probably just gonna have to read five on like the Kindle or something. This is about some college age girls and it's really funny and it talks about like feminism and zines and it's just something I really enjoy. And I think Esther is so pretty. I love her. She's a beautiful snowflake. Next I got Paper Girls. I really like the art style on this one and I believe it takes place in the 1980s. I'm really obsessed with the 80s and the 90s and I just finished watching Freaks and Geeks too which takes place in the 80s. Ooh, it looks so pretty like can you see that coloring like then we have Black Canary which I believe is a superhero maybe I don't really know DC yes she's a DC superhero but I believe it had something to do with like a band and I also believe she's a superhero and look at that beautiful color scheme I just I had to I had to okay and then we have Bee and the Puppy Cat volume one I got this on Amazon uh, it's kind of like a bind up I guess you could call it of I believe the first four issues, I'm not totally sure, but I think this art is just so very cute, so very cute. And I also got this at the comic book store, it's Bee and Puppycat number nine. It's beautiful, like, so pretty. I am gonna read all these by the way, I know I'm saying they're like really pretty and cute and stuff, but I will be reading all of these, I'm not just getting them to like hoard. I will read them. Well, I'm kind of hoarding them, but I'll also read them. Next, we have Zodiac Star Force, which I hadn't really heard of at all. It says at the top, your favorite magical girl team, your new favorite magical girl team. So it sounded interesting. It's very colorful. Then on Amazon, I got Lumberjanes Volume 1, Beware the Kitten Holy. Um, this is the first four five issues in it I can't remember something like that this was written by the same author who wrote Nimona and I really like Nimona then in the comic book store I got Lumberjanes issue number 21 which I know there's quite a gap between these two but I thought this cover was just so like winter themed and nice that I wanted to get it so I'm not gonna get to reading this one for a while because I'm gonna read this one and I think volume two might even be out so I'm gonna have to read both of those first but eventually I'll get to this one. Strong female lead character. Next up, we have Boombox 2015 mixtape, which, again, look at these colors. Kind of a combination of like a bunch of different comics. So it features stories from Munchkin, Lumberjanes, except for that, Cyanide and Happiness, they're pretty good too, Giant Days, except for that, um, Help Us, Great Warrior, Power Up. So I think it just kind of like features a bunch of comics from the year or something like that. But uh, it just, I was, I was enticed. I got volume one of Rat Queens, so I don't know how many issues are in this. They just sound like really strong lead female characters battling crime and monsters. Then I got this graphic novel, I believe is what this would be considered, called Super Mutant a Magic Academy, and it is like pretty huge compared to everything else I've gotten. I mean, were you not enticed by this title? It's a nice big book, so maybe I won't be able to read it in like an hour like I did with Giant Days this morning. <laughs> Next up, we have Batgirl Volume 1. This didn't have the best reviews, but I don't know. I'm still really interested in it because I think the art is really nice. Tragically, I bought this on Amazon and it came bent. Like, so I'm gonna have to put it under a heavy book and squish it up. I could probably return it, but I'm too impatient for that. And lastly, we have Radioactive Spider Gwen, number one. I heard some really good things about this and I love the colors on the front. I believe what it's about is instead of Peter Parker getting turned into Spider-Man, it's Gwen 
yeah, Gwen. We'll see what kind of shenanigans ensue. And that there are all of the comics and like one graphic novel that I got. So if you're interested in this, maybe I'll do more videos on like comics and stuff because I think they're a really fun medium of storytelling. If you're interested in that sort of thing, and then let me know. But in the meantime, make sure to subscribe. I'll tell you guys all later. And yeah, bye. Just hands. Wow, okay.